The wind turbines slicing the sky above rural Minnesota were manufactured more than 6,000 miles away by a Chinese company. Now they're helping to power the nearby town of Pipestone. The wind is blowing nearly all the time, so you should take advantage of it. China has a dirty reputation as the world's factory, but its emerging green energy sector is threatening to leave the United States in its dust. The overall environmental report card's not pretty for either country. China is the world's top producer of greenhouse gases. The U.S. is a close second, followed by Russia, India and Japan. China burns mountains of coal, the dirtiest form of energy, for 70 percent of its power, consuming two and a half billion tons each year. 23 percent of America's energy also comes from coal, using 1.2 billion tons annually. The U.S. population is less than a quarter of the size of China's, but Americans consume almost six times more energy per person than the Chinese. China also guzzles almost 8 million barrels of oil daily, 8% of the world's total, while Americans burn through 19.5 million barrels, or 21%. America's oil use has been declining since 2007, while China's getting thirstier. Oil consumption's up 5% a year. Modern lifestyles are on the rise here, demanding vast amounts of electricity. And that's why Chinese authorities are hungry for renewable energy, to keep China's people satisfied and the economy humming. So Chinese leaders are investing heavily in green sectors like wind and solar. And that's where experts say China scores an A. The nation that leads the clean energy economy will be the nation that leads the global economy, and America must be that nation. Like it or not, China's the country cashing in on the green revolution. And that's a problem for America. We're going to end up using those technologies on a very large scale. The question is whether we're producing them or whether we end up having to buy them from the Chinese or others because we didn't get our act together. China has become the number one exporter of solar panels, supplying 29% of the world's $13.7 billion market, while the U.S. trails at 6%. Chinese manufacturers also dominate the market in eco-products, from electric bikes and solar hot water heaters to mass-produced electric cars. In a few years, China's also expected to become the top exporter of wind turbines and a major user of them too. All this activity is putting food on the table for workers like 37-year-old Wang Meitiu. Her hometown, the city of Baoding in China's central Hebei province, was once a decaying factory zone. But with major state backing, it's being reborn into an unlikely eco-hub boasting 29,000 new jobs, including one for Wang as a solar panel inspector. This is fixing our unemployment problem. Here, the U.S. faces a huge disadvantage. The average factory worker in China costs the company 81 cents an hour to employ, compared to an average of 29.98 an hour for a worker in the U.S. Even after taking China's low cost of living into account, it's a difference America can't match. So what solution will allow the United States to catch up to China? Many say in the short term, America needs to encourage joint ventures between the U.S. and China, bringing renewable energy costs down for everyone. In the long term, experts say U.S. government policies should build on America's strengths, technological innovation and highly efficient manufacturing to compete with China's unbeatable wages. Here. Ken Ames is the CEO of C-Smart. His Vista California company makes cutting-edge LED light bulbs in Shenzhen, China. Ames says he'd relocate all his production stateside if he could break through Washington's red tape. There's going to have to be grants available, readily available, for companies like us that are, that are going to bring the jobs, bring the technology. Analysts say the Obama administration is committed to clean energy, investing $80 billion in stimulus funding in hopes of fostering $150 billion in new projects. That, coupled with old-fashioned American ingenuity, could help the U.S. embrace what Chinese entrepreneurs already know, that it's possible to get rich by going green, a move that just might make the planet healthier, too. Celia Hutton, CBS News, Beijing.